Hey there, space explorers, it's Captain Zippy and guess what? Today we're going on an adventure. We're blasting off to outer space to learn about our solar system. Woohoo, are you ready? Fasten your seatbelts and get ready for an amazing journey. Our solar system is made up of the sun and eight amazing planets. Each one is unique and super cool. We'll learn some fun facts about them, like how big they are, what they're made of, and maybe even if aliens live there. Just kidding. Or am I? Did you know the sun is 93 million miles away? That's super far. It's so far that it takes sunlight eight whole minutes to reach us here on Earth. Wowzers. But don't worry. Our spaceship will get us to each planet much faster than that. Let's go. First stop, Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. It's like a tiny marble compared to the giant sun. And guess what? It's the closest planet to the sun. That means it's super duper hot there way too hot for us. Mercury is a rocky planet just like Earth. But unlike Earth, it doesn't have any moons. Can you imagine looking up at night and not seeing a moon? That would be so weird. And get this, Mercury is the fastest planet in our solar system. It zooms around the sun so fast, it's like it's always in a hurry. Maybe that's why it's so hot. Next up, we're visiting Venus. Venus is often called Earth's twin sister because it's almost the same size as our planet. But don't be fooled by its beauty. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. It's even hotter than Mercury. Can you believe that? Why is Venus so hot? Well, it has a really thick atmosphere made up mostly of carbon dioxide. That's the same gas we breathe out. And this thick atmosphere traps heat from the sun, making Venus one super hot planet. Venus spins very slowly and in the opposite direction of Earth. That means on Venus, the sun rises in the west and sets in the east. How strange is that? Now it's time to visit our very own planet, Earth. Earth is the only planet in our solar system that we know for sure has life. That's because it has the perfect temperature, just the right amount of air and water, and it's just the right distance from the sun. It's like Earth was specially designed for us. Earth is a beautiful blue and green planet when seen from space. That's because it's covered in lots of water and land. And you know what? We need both to survive. Water to drink and grow our food and land to live on and play on. Earth has one moon that lights up our night sky. It controls the tides and helps keep our planet stable. It's like Earth's best friend. Chapter 4. Mars the Red Planet. Next stop, Mars. Mars is a really cool planet with a reddish color. That's because it's covered in iron oxide, which is the same stuff that makes rust. Imagine that, a whole planet that looks rusty. Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. They're named after the horses that pulled the chariot of the Greek god of war, Ares. Cool, right? Scientists believe that Mars might have had oceans and rivers a long time ago. And guess what? They think there might still be salty water underground. Maybe one day we'll find evidence of life on Mars. Wouldn't that be amazing? Chapter 5. Jupiter, the giant gas planet. Get ready, because we're about to visit the biggest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. Jupiter is so big, you could fit over 1,300 Earths inside it. That's gigantic. Jupiter is a gas giant, which means it doesn't have a solid surface like Earth. It's mostly made up of gases like hydrogen and helium. Can you imagine trying to land on gas? You'd just sink right through. Jupiter has a giant red spot, which is actually a massive storm that's been raging for hundreds of years. It's so big you could fit three Earths inside it. That's one powerful storm. Chapter 6. Saturn, the Ringed Wonder. Next up is Saturn, the planet with the most spectacular rings. Saturn's rings are made up of billions of pieces of ice and rock, all orbiting the planet together. Some of the pieces are as small as a grain of sand, while others are as big as a house. Saturn is a gas giant just like Jupiter, and it's also really big. But even though it's big, it's actually the least dense planet in our solar system. That means if you could find a bathtub big enough to hold Saturn, it would float in the water. Saturn has more than 80 moons, but its largest moon, Titan, is extra special. It's even bigger than the planet Mercury. That's one giant moon. Chapter 7. Uranus the Sideways Planet. Get ready for a wacky adventure as we visit Uranus. Uranus is a blue-green ice giant that's tilted on its side. It's like it got into a cosmic fender bender and got knocked over. Because of its tilt, Uranus has really long seasons. Each season lasts for about 21 Earth years. Can you imagine having winter for 21 years straight? Brrr, that would be cold. Uranus is also unique because it spins on its side. That means its poles face the sun. 
Imagine having the sun directly overhead for 42 years and then having darkness for 42 years. That's what it's like on Uranus. Chapter 8 Neptune, the Windy Blue Giant. Last but not least, we're visiting Neptune, the farthest planet from the sun. Neptune is a blue ice giant that's known for its super strong winds. The winds on Neptune can reach speeds of over 1,200 miles per hour, that's faster than a jet plane. Neptune is so far away from the sun that it takes 165 Earth years to orbit it just once. That means if you lived on Neptune, you'd only get to celebrate your birthday once every 165 Earth years. Neptune has 14 moons, and its largest moon, Triton, is really cool. It orbits Neptune in the opposite direction of most other moons in our solar system. It's like Triton likes to do things its own way. Wow, what an amazing journey. We learned so much about the planets in our solar system. We visited Mercury, the speedy little planet, Venus, the super hot twin of Earth, and Mars, the rusty red planet that might have salty water underground. We even explored the gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn, and the ice giants, Uranus and Neptune. Remember, each planet is unique and special in its own way, just like each one of you. Keep exploring and learning about the universe around us, because there's always something new and exciting to discover. Want to learn more? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos. Keep looking up, and I'll see you in space. Bye-bye.